Sean fam. What's up, guys? Here we go. I'm just letting you know, Sean gifted me his entire mic setup yep. and his drone. <laughs> and, wait, 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 wait. and his whole YouTube fan base. It's now called Bobby Clouds Comes to YouTube. So it is finally time. I've been dreading this moment pretty much since I got into medical school. Actually, I think I've been dreading this since before I got into medical school, but it is finally time for me to start preparing for step one by moving into my pre-dedicated block. I literally can't believe that it is like time to start studying for step. Like all throughout medical school, I've known that like everything I was learning, I was gonna have to know for step, and that eventually I was gonna have to move into a much more dedicated period of studying for step, and now it's happening. Like I'm in this pre-dedicated phase, I'm starting to go through UWorld, and then by this time next month, I'll probably be in my actual dedicated, which is just absolutely crazy. So at the beginning of this video, you guys saw that I was doing some UWorld questions, and that's pretty much what my plan is for pre-dedicated, is just to do like 40 questions a day, go through all the answers, make sure that I know the concepts, make Anki cards on things to get wrong, or concepts that I wanna make sure that I remember, and I'm just gonna do that between now and December. And then halfway through December, I'm gonna go into my actual dedicated step one study period, where I'm gonna crank it up, I'm gonna do like 80 to 120 questions per day, review all those questions, go through all the answer choices, really make sure that I'm like learning all these concepts. And then on January 31st, I take my actual step one exam. So I think because I took the last few weeks off to focus on just research, my stamina is just really bad. So the plan for this week is to do like four sets of 10 questions per day. And then next week I'll crank it up to two sets of 20 per day. And then by the third week, I'll be doing 40 question sets per day. I'm gonna continue to talk about step and how I'm preparing for it over the next few weeks. But right now I think it's about time to head down to main campus to meet up with some of my classmates. Oh, but before we go, I actually need to tell you about the sponsor of this week's vlog, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a virtual private network that makes all of your internet traffic go through an encrypted tunnel. This way it protects you from online spying, public Wi-Fi dangers, and protects your IP address and your online activities. Atlas VPN is the best VPN deal on the market, being only $1.39 per month with the three-year subscription with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Get comfy and stream your favorite TV shows or upgrade your gaming experience at a lightning fast speed. And with just one subscription, Atlas VPN protects all of your devices, including your computers and smartphones. Literally, all I have to do is press right here, and now my phone's protected. Atlas VPN is more than just a VPN because it also blocks all malicious links, ads, traffickers, and even notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. As someone who has been binge watching a lot of Netflix recently, including Squid Game, Alice in Borderland, and now Extracurricular, I feel so much better knowing that my internet activity is protected with Atlas VPN. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount where you can get the three-year subscription for only $1.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so make sure to get your deal by clicking the link in the description box below. So again, guys, make sure to check out Atlas VPN Yen, $1.39 per month to protect all of your internet activity is such an amazing deal. Make sure to check out the link in my description box below. Thank you so much again to Alice VPN for sponsoring this week's vlog. Now let's head down to campus. Oh my gosh. What is up, buddy? How are you doing? What's up, Sean's fam? <laughs> Did you just like see us in here? And you just. Pretty much. Dude, nice. Sean fam. What's up, guys? 
I'm just letting you know, Sean gifted me his entire mic setup yep. and his drone. What? And, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. and his whole YouTube fan base. What's up? It's now called Bobby Clouds Comes to YouTube. <laughs> it's going in now. You can't, you you can't just do that and not let me put it in the vlog. Yeah. Are you doing a scored step? Yeah. Uh, that's why you're studying. You chose to take it scored? Yeah. Why are you doing a score step? I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so a lot of stress. Like, that is so much stress. You sure you don't play soccer tonight? Dude, I'm so stressed. Though. All right, all right, all right. Next, <laughs> next week, let me know if you want to play. Let's see you on the other side, gentlemen. Peace. A lot of UNLV med people come here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. It's so funny that we literally just said, wow, a lot of UNLV med you know, you met people come here, and then you just walked into the door. <laughs> really? No, this is my first time here. That's so funny. Our Bob just walked in and walked out. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Hopefully, I'll, I'll see you at the end of this on the Dude, other side. Our Bob also he just did the same <laughs> thing. He just did it. Our Bob also did. I'll see you on the other side. Really? Yeah. yeah he just did. Why is everyone Alex, doing it? I'm actually our Bob. I just changed my outfit. Um, <laughs> 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 is a quick change. Pull, pull off mask. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Who's gonna walk in here next from our yeah, school? Why do, why do microbiologists gotta make this such a pain in the ass? Trying to find <laughs> an unknown bacteria. Because if they hate themselves, then, then at least they can communicate that hate elsewhere. This is why we can't have nice things. Do you just film Yeah, me? I did. <laughs> can I put that? <laughs> can you zoom into my hair? <laughs> All right, cool. Um, oh, yeah. I'll just follow your lead. Always, always. That's I've never led you astray. You've led me to a lot of a lot of places, however. Hey, but if you want to be protected wherever I lead you, <laughs> download Atlas VPN for only one dollar and thirty nine cents per month. <laughs> All right, so we are at Lead Library. We've been here actually for a few hours now. We are joined by Wilson, who's working on Micro, mm -hmm. I think, and then we've got Mark who is an expert in leading meetings and is <laughs> now working on, what are you working on, Mark? Studying for step, I guess. Ah, <laughs> and speaking of studying for speaking step. Speaking of step. That is what we started this week. DePaul and I decided to stop being lazy and start studying for our first board exam, which yeah. is January 31st. Yep. This is it's like no longer half a year away or four months away. It's now it's, less than three months away. It's, it's like within a reasonable timeline away. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty soon. We started our pre-dedicated yesterday. So we started doing UWorld questions. The goal is about 40 a day with Anki cards. We met with an MS3 the other week who kind of gave us his breakdown of studying for STEP and we agreed with the method. We thought it was yeah. time efficient to use UWorld basically as our primary. My initial plan was I was gonna do like a video rewatch and stuff like that, but he quickly shut that down and I appreciated it. Um, because it was going to be a waste of time and yeah. uh, it's a lot easier to learn from questions. Uh, so if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And I quickly overhauled my strategy and I think that's... Same, yeah. yeah, pretty much the same strategy here as well. So I don't really know like what the goal is going to be, but basically from now until mid-December, like I talked about a little bit earlier, we'll be in like pre-dedicated and then sometime around mid-December will be actual dedicated where it's going to be like, you know, eight to 12 hour days. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more blocks per day. We'll be doing practice exams, review for all that kind of stuff. We've freed up some time, luckily. Like our initial research, like bolus and like obligation has kind of died down just a bit. So we've been very busy with research the last few weeks and I think it's because we knew we wanted to get a lot of things like kind of off the ground, like as soon as we could before our pre-dedicated period and get these projects going. So for example, we've submitted two papers for publication. We have a case report that's pretty much ready. We just have to get the final this week. go ahead. Yeah. yeah. And then a couple other projects we're working on are coming to kind of like the end of their phase. Actually going back into studying, is kind of been a real grind. Oh, I don't it's been remember. boring. My attention I, span is <sighs> tiny. I've only done 20 questions today. And I, it's already 6 p.m. I've done my 40 <laughs> and I make like 150 Anki cards like per set and it's absolutely brutal because I know I have to wake up and do the cards and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. 
it's been tough, but that's why we have pre-dedicated. It's been it's been fun doing the research actually. Questions and, is like you're sitting there and then you're getting questions wrong and you're like, I don't remember any of this stuff. And then like every like ten questions I'm like, oh let me load up a game of chess. <laughs> and I'm like, let me scroll through TikTok or watch a YouTube video after I've reviewed one question. But that's pretty much yeah, the focus now. It'll get better. Our stamina for practice questions will go up just as our stamina for research went up over the last yeah. few weeks. So yeah. Yeah, that's the current plan. It's been pretty good. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get back to work. We're about to get kicked out of this room, but we still have like another two hours before I have to go to soccer. So we've about two hours of work to do, and then yeah, we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Any input, Mark? Any input on Step? What do you think? How do you feel about Step? I just want to survive. <laughs> Same, Mark. Same. <laughs> I live in Spain, but the S is silent. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of light or anything right now. It's pretty dark. I'm in the parking lot. Um, we got done with our study session and now I am basically at my car to pick up some of the stuff we need for our soccer game. It was an overall not very productive day. I actually didn't even finish all my UWorld stuff. Um, we had some stuff with the soccer team to figure out. We were planning another research project we want to start. I did like another small set of UWorld questions, but not nearly as much as I would have liked. Uh, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, it's about 7.30. Our game starts in 30 minutes. This is our third game, I think, for the co-ed team. We won the first game. Our opponents uh, kind of like called out of the second game or I don't know if we got like a free win. I don't actually know that. Uh, and then last week we lost the game. So hopefully today we do well. And then if we do well, maybe we go to playoffs. I don't know if we go to playoffs, whether we win or lose. I'm not really too sure, uh, but it should be a fun game. The overall message of this vlog is that my schedule is changing from being very research heavy into being more of a step schedule, which is good. I think it'll be good to have a balance of studying and research and obviously having fun. Like I'm really enjoying getting to see my classmates and doing fun stuff rather than just like studying and going to class all the time. But now it is definitely starting to get into crunch time. And this time next month, I will be in an even more crunch time state when I'm actually doing my dedicated step prep uh, but I'm just gonna enjoy the next few weeks anyway like I said the soccer game is starting soon so wish us luck Good clear, good clear. <laughs> 